In the last video, we looked at converting between metric units of length. We're now going to look at converting between metric units of mass. To start with, pause the video and have a go at the conversions on the screen. And when you're ready for the answers, press play. Here are the answers. The amount of mass in an object is how much stuff is in the object, you can say. Um, in everyday speech, we'll call it weight, but there's actually a difference between those two terms. So the metric units for measuring mass, or as we probably say weight, are milligrams, grams, kilograms, and metric tons. We need to be able to convert between these, and it's actually very straightforward. If you remember, if you remember from last time, um, one meter is a thousand millimeters, so one gram is a thousand milligrams. So to go from milligrams to grams, you would divide by a thousand. And from last time, meters to kilometers, you would divide by a thousand. So it's the same between grams and kilograms. So this is the conversion ladder that we would use for milligrams, grams, and kilograms. But also remember, we have tons. So let me go back. I'll just people like that. We also have tons, which is the same. It's also a thousand. So converting between masses really is the easiest one to do. It's always a thousand as a factor between each of them. Here are some examples. If I wanted to change 5,000 milligrams to grams, you would just do 5,000 divided by a thousand, which gives you five grams. 6,500 milligrams to grams, you would again divide by a thousand, giving you 6.5 grams. Remember that the decimal would move back three places to give us 6.5 grams. 380 milligrams to grams, that's going to be 0 0.38 grams, and so on. If we wanted to change it to tons from kilograms, you would just need to divide by a thousand again. So 2,000 kilograms, divide that by a thousand, and you end up with two tons. So 2,000 kilograms is two metric tons. On the other hand, if you wanted to change tons to kilograms, you would need to multiply by a thousand. So you'd have to do 4.55 times a thousand which is 4550 kilograms. Here are some questions for you to try. Please pause the video now and have a go at them. And when you're ready for the answers, press play. Here are the answers. Here's a more tricky question for you to try. Please pause the video now and have a go. And when you're ready for the answer, press play. Here is the answer. You should notice that just the apples without the box is 900 grams. And if there are 10 apples in the box, to work out the weight or the mass of one of them, you would just divide by 10, which would give you 90. So the weight of one of the apples would be 90 grams. Now, if the scales read 1.9 kilograms, you would say the total weight of the apples in the box would be 1,900 grams. So to work out just the mass of the apples, it would be 1,800 grams. Now we now know that every apple weighs 90 grams. So to work out how many there would be, you would have to do 1,800 divided by 90 which is going to work out to be 20. So there would be 20 apples in the box if the scales read 1.9 kilograms.